Here in this densely populated area, self-isolating is a privilege. Up to six people or more share a shack with no toilet or running water. Tang provincial government has had to step in. This is not how social distancing should happen, but Alexander residents are desperate and they're queuing to get as much sanitizer as they can. As part of government solution, 13,000 litres of sanitizer were distributed among residents, while walls and other surfaces were disinfected. It's prevention and care, because if we can prevent people here just to get the virus would have saved lots and lots of lives because you can see the environment here is not conducive. If something wrong happens here, we are going to be in trouble. Yes, certainly. If this spreads, it will be a human catastrophe. And that's why we are closely monitoring the situation. We are on a daily basis uh, through our provincial command council, uh, guided by the national command council that is led by the president, uh, assessing the situation and doing uh, different things on a daily basis. We are going to do everything humanly possible to fight this virus and make sure that we also deploy government resources adequately. This project will benefit 46,000 residents, but it won't be enough. Alexandra's population is estimated to be around 700,000. We are going to go to all the hostels in Alexandra uh, all the spaza shops, especially those that are open, that are working. Our responsibility is to decontaminate and to give people sanitizers. Despite efforts, Alexandra residents are scared. People are no longer going to work. I'm afraid people will be unemployed at the end of the day. Yes, I'm very scared about this thing, this virus. I'm very worried because they can die and then they tell people to stay indoors. People, they don't, they don't listen. They just roam around the streets. I think that they will kill us all. I'm very scared. I just miss school. Can you please finish this corona before we, all of us will die? Government is trying to keep people at home or in their shacks during a three-week lockdown. But for many, that's simply not an option. And if the virus spreads here, it could do great damage. Judy Sharrett, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.